Hi, my lovely friends. I've made this magic eye card, which then changed the for us uh, in a second. And if you would like to see how did I create the card, let's start and jump into the video. So my lovely friends, for today card, I'm going to be playing with the Simply Made Crafts uh, paper and dies designed by Helen. And I'm also having some lovely flowers, which I was showing you how to create yesterday. And I have this peach color pearl paper, a couple of the for us and ready made card base, which is eight by eight inch size. I'm starting off from creating these mats and layers. And for that, I am not measuring anything as always. Always, I'm just marking myself a couple of the uh, dots with my pencil and this way I know exactly how would I like to trim. Now this is the hardest job, it's to pick up the right design paper because I love them all. They all look beautiful and uh, to help me to decide I've placed the little flower on top of the paper so this way I can see which the papers, which of the papers will be looking as nicest. And I've decided to go with this beautiful white paper and also the one which has this lovely text. Uh, this is a beautiful script and it's just all looking nice and romantic so i really really like that one now i am marking the second dots uh, on this second piece of the paper and this will help me to decide where shall i trim however once i trim this piece um, uh, to be the exact width i've decided that i don't want to cut on the dot which i've created because this way i would have the text visible from the uh, bottom but not from the top side so i've decided to trim it teeny tiny bit from both uh, sides so this way uh, the font uh, this little script uh, will be visible from from all four sides this is a uh, something i like to do um, i'm just trying to always make sure that you know everything is nice and even so but you don't have to do that you can just trim uh, up to the size and you'll be good to go as well now uh, as you can see i am trimming and trimming just the hair inch making sure everything looks perfectly and for that the guillotine is just brilliant it will cut you those teeny tiny uh, bits so uh, this is a very good investment if anyone is looking to buy the guillotine i can really um, recommend this one the only one trouble i have with this is that it's not large enough to fit the 12 by 12 paper so i had to go back to my other guillotine to uh, uh, but if I would buy it ba back again, I would go with the same gluten, uh, this Crafter Companion one. However, I would buy it, buy it in the larger version so that way it will fit 12 by 12 papers too. Now it's time to play with our magic die and this is super cool and I'm super excited to play with it and uh, more. Uh, this die is so brilliant. It will make the whole job for you so you don't have to figure it out uh, and it will just do everything you know cut all the elements and all you have to do is just to cut them and put it all together and here uh, i'm super happy that the helen come up with the idea to have the frame because the frame will help you to position your die however what i've decided to do is to cut one piece from the vellum which i will be keeping it together in the same bag as I'm storing the dice and this way I have this little see-through frame which will help me to make sure how uh, the die is positioned that I don't have this little like center piece which is missing and uh, you've got this little hole in the center for uh, putting the brad through so uh, this way having this vellum piece I can make sure that this is not coming through in my eye or something like you know so it's not going to be looking weird once i cut my falls so uh, having this vellum piece it's really uh, making the job easier and i do recommend that you can cut it from vellum or you can cut it from the acetate as well and this way you have this uh, super nice piece to see and the same thing you can do with many other dies if you've got the full die which you would like to place on the fall but you're not sure how it's gonna be if it's gonna be positioned straight or not this is the tip you can use cut it from vellum cut it from the acetate and you will have this little template which will then help you to decide 
how to cut your die. And when I was cutting these two for us, I actually placed those little notches toward the top because uh, when I've seen the video release from the launching of this uh, collection, I think they were, it was actually on the Craft Stash Live. Uh, the Helen, when she was showing it, she says that uh, you can position it more or less towards the top and this way it will be kind of a upright uh, whenever you're gonna have two for us but when i realized when i put these two together and here is a mistake i actually did uh, i've choose the wrong dice i should uh, cut them other way around uh, because you will see it in a second <laughs> that uh, when i put uh, all the photos together my wedding photo i actually lost my face and uh, i'm super happy that this mistake occurred because this way i can have a little bit more awareness and uh, you know tell you a little bit more to be careful to make sure you choose the right uh, die for the photo if you have your face or something near beside the center make sure you choose the right one and the one which has this little like a circle uh, this is the part which will be visible all the time so for that i should actually swatch the uh, photography and this way i would be having a good uh, you know i wouldn't be losing my face <laughs> but uh, it's good the mistakes are something we are learning from so i'm super happy and once i had this uh, little trial for all here i actually decide to uh, go even one step further because I'm going to have my position, the, the way I'm seeing this card, I want to create it, is that I want to have this floral composition uh, placed on the bottom uh, right corner. So that means if I would place those uh, uh, magic eye uh, on uh, being like a flap, uh, ah, what I'm trying to say, Marta, uh, if I would be gluing it, having this notch face upwards, then if I would be, uh, you know, uh, changing it to reveal another photo, this will go in the way with the floral composition I want to have. So this is good to have this little trial piece and keep it in the back with your dies because this will help you to decide how you want to position your die. So here, this is where I want to have my notch. So when I will be twisting it, it will won't go past the... Uh, top part so that way it's not gonna be in a way with the flowers so uh, this is how i mark them i did some pencil marks i didn't i could go with the sharpie but then i've decided maybe later on i would like to have those notches positioned in a different way so i can always use a razor and change them out and that will be easy to to do so here i had this a little bit thinking process and this time i am making sure i have the right dice so the one which just looks like it's having a little circle um, on the front this is the one which will be visible all the time this little circular part uh, so i'm switching the dice and again i am placing them on top of the vellum uh, so this way i have them positioned in exactly a spot i want and making sure that I am following the arrows, which will share, uh, show me which direction uh, the photo will be up uh, when it's gonna be on the on the card. Uh, so it's very easy, and I'm super happy because this way uh, I've learned a lot through making this card today, and this way I can also give you all the tips I've learned myself. So. I'm starting off from building up the cards. I have all the elements ready now. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how did I do the flowers or leaves because this is very simple. The flowers we were making on the video yesterday, if anyone is curious, and the leaves. This is the leaves from my own digital collection, uh, which I've designed. Uh, this one is available at the craft stash. So I'll give you all the links down below. You can, uh, you can, if you've got the access to the printer, you can print them up and there is a three different elements in the collection. I do have some other videos as well, but just to let you know, the Ephemera pack is having nearly 250 elements to cut and it's only £3.99. So for less than a £4, it's like a coffee price. You get all those leaves, flowers and labels you can cut. Now, I'm uh, gluing my elements using double-sided tape and a dash of the liquid glue. The liquid glue here helps me to move it a little bit and this way I can position it right in the center. And when I'm happy, I am taking off the release paper from underneath. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one, but 
this time I'm going to be attaching it to my card using some double sided foam tape. The foam I'm using is one millimeter thick and it's just going to be something which will give me this nice dimension and help me to build up the uh, little bit more differentiation in between the layers. Uh, so as you can see here, it's very easy uh, with having those uh, strips uh, not entirely revealed. It's very easy to place the card and move it around. Uh, as you want and now because I know I will be gluing this photo frame to the center I've made sure I build up a little bit stronger uh, bit from the double-sided foam tape in the center itself so this way it will prevent the card from uh, you know moving and getting uh, getting a little bit warped because I have this nice sturdy base from underneath but if you would like uh, the best idea would be to use this kids fun foam and that will give you the sturdy dimension or some other like you could use a piece of the cardboard or anything like that this is also a great for building up dimension so i am taking off the reveal strip and now i'm gonna be working on my on my photo frame and with this die set as i've mentioned before you do get two frames so as you can see the notch from the photo paper it's a little bit missing piece but once i will place the frame on top of that no one will ever see so that's why i wasn't uh, i didn't have to be too much worried that i couldn't cut the whole die on it and um now I am adding the liquid glue and I'm just making sure I've placed the glue uh, and smear it with my finger just to make sure it's going to be, you know, everywhere on a on a frame. But just make sure you're not going to be adding the glue or if your glue will uh, squeeze out from underneath the tape, uh, underneath the frame, just uh, wipe it off because you don't want those pieces to be glue. And all you do, you place this... Uh, this die with the whole circle on the bottom and then you start uh, putting threading through those little flaps it's very intuitive once you do it first time you will get a hang of it straight away and you do it with the all uh, six parts and then you have your fall done here so as you can see i'm super happy with how it turned out and then i have this little extra piece which is included in a die which will help you to secure it with the help of the little brat as well. And once I'm gonna be adding it to my cart, and this is something you have to remember as well, do not add the adhesive to the entire piece. Only add the adhesive to this little teeny tiny circle, and I'm gonna be lifting it with the help of the foam tape as well. And this way you will have this nice space for the for us to move around because if you would glue it, you won't be able to uh, to move it. So uh, here you can see me doing that and then I am just adding a dash of the hot glue and uh, placing it on my card. And then last thing I have to do, uh, all I really need to do is just to finish off my card, adding this flowers, leaves and a little uh, sentiment uh, to the side. And uh, this is straightforward. I am adding all the elements with the help of the hot glue and I'm just trying to see how the composition will be looking nicely. And I'm adding a little bit of the darker leaves and lighter one just to change it. Uh, so it will be looking nice and interesting. And now, one thing I wish to say to you, my friends, thank you so very much, everyone who were watching my videos, who's subscribing to my YouTube channel and leaving me a comment as well. Thank you so very much for being here with me. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have some other ideas for the uh, for the tutorials or things you would like me to cover or show you definitely give me a shout in the comment i'll be happy to to create some cards if if there's some interesting idea you would like to see my take on it uh, so thank you so much oh and don't forget that today uh, this is the only one day for today the entire selection of all of the simply made crafts um, collection uh, all the dice all the collection everything designed by Helen is on 342 offer uh, so if you were ever thinking of buying any of her dice or papers definitely it's worth trying uh, today because you can add three to the basket and then you only pay for two here is a couple of the close-up look uh, on the card 
art I've created today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you would like, for those who haven't seen it, I do have tutorial where I'm covering uh, in step by step how to make those um, foam flowers. Thank you so very much for being here. I am wishing you all a fabulous day. Stay blessed, my friends, and bye bye.